It is easy to become numb to media bias these days, so the Ingram angle kept track of the worst offenders of the week. Joining me now to discuss is Adriana Cohen, a radio host and nationally syndicated columnist, and Alexandra Wilkes, an attorney and senior vice president at America Rising. Ladies, thank you so much for joining me. Let's get right down to it, shall we? Let's do it. So let's start. Let's great start with the here. media shameless. Yeah, uh, great to see you. Uh, let's start with the media shameless defense of the squad. First, MSNBC's and Andrea Mitchell uh, denied that any of the four squad members are socialist. There's not a single member of these Congress uh, rep congressional representatives who are avowed socialists. All right, there you go. And today, Washington Post, uh, White House Bureau Chief, well, I, well, he's repeating that same claim. Uh, Phil Rucker repeated the same false claim. Now, this debate is not about socialism. It's about, uh, it, it, it's what the president started on Sunday, which is a, a racist attack on these four women of color. Oh, boy. Adriana, so when did we enter the twilight zone? You might have the answer because I don't. Yeah, absolutely. Well, first off, Andrew Mitchell is wrong. Um, this squad, uh, there are many uh, socialists within the Democrat Party. That's where the party has radically steered to the left. We've seen, especially over the past year, year and a half. And Alexandra Ocasio-Cortez is a self-avowed socialist. Same with Bernie Sanders. So she has totally missed the mark there. And if we look at all the other presidential contenders that are running now, so many of them are so far to the left, and they're embracing socialist policies, such as the disastrous green New Deal. They want to expand our government into yeah. every aspect of our lives. So there's no, there's no question that the Democrat Party is no longer moderate. They are veering very close to socialism. Yeah. And Alexandra, wouldn't you say, though, that this might indicate that they know that this is troubling and that it's not a good position to take and in a way that they're, they're helping them along to try to erase the negativity that Americans see social, uh, uh, socialism as? Absolutely. Journalists are smart and they know that AOC and her socialist views are absolutely toxic when it comes to voters. And if I were AOC, I might be a little offended by Andrea Mitchell. She wears that socialist badge so proudly. And here Andrea Mitchell Makes is trying point. to take it away from her. Good point. All right. Now, that, that's excellent. Next, it would not uh, be a worst in media segment without the ladies at The View. Why can't he be um, um, brought up on charges of hate speech? Sorry. Why can't yeah. he be sued by the ACLU for hate speech? I don't get it. I just How does he get away yeah. with this? Alexandra, uh, obviously, I, maybe you know where, where Joy Behar can get a free pocket <laughs> constitution because that was a confusing position to take. You know, all these years when liberals were throwing out parts of the Bill of Rights, I always thought it was just because they didn't like those parts, not that they didn't understand them. Um, and particularly when it comes to the First Amendment, uh, we know that liberals love to, to embrace it, except when it doesn't embrace what they like. And so, uh, you know, I think that Joe ba Joy Behar's Orwellian um, you know, comment on The View is quite troubling for uh, the state of civics in our country. Yeah, Adriana, we know that that is actually a position in the European Constitution, is maybe that's what they prefer, is, to, is, is uh, Europe and how they approach these issues, as opposed to the American way. That's right. And if you notice, so many of these Democrats, they only believe in the First uh, First Amendment of free speech when it comes to what they want to say. But for some reason, they don't think that the leader yeah, of the free yeah. world, the president of the United States, has a right to free speech. Well, it just doesn't work that way. Uh all right. Well, there you go with that. Ladies, thank you very much. I want now your thoughts on MSNBC's Donnie Deutsch's latest brain spasm. But I want, I want to talk to the white people out there, okay? I want to talk to wealthy white people. We are heading to such a dangerous place, and guess what? You look at history, it can happen here. Maybe it's the Jews next. Adriana, uh, considering what's been said by the uh, AOC plus three when it comes to the Jewish people, why do Democrats ignore their own violent rhetoric? Exactly. I mean, if you look at the anti-Semitic comments that, um, you know, Rep. Omar has made, the anti-Semitic tropes, Rashida Tlaib has called uh, Israel racist. These two women, these two congresswomen support, you know, BDS. Uh, they're totally anti-Israel. And so it's such, um, it's such rubbish, basically, that Donnie Deutsch is saying, trying to uh, present, you know, uh, portray President Trump as being anti-Israel, anti-Israel. It, it just 
patently false, there is no greater friend to Israel and the Jewish people than President Trump. And we see that every single day, whether that's him moving the, the U.S. Embassy to Jerusalem and, and um, recognizing Jerusalem as the rightful capital of Israel yeah. or, you know, yeah. and so many other things that he's done. And if he has to look at these, the squad and look at their anti-Semitic comments before he makes these, you know, where he starts um, yeah. fear mongering, which is well, so totally Alexandria, harmful uh, for our country. Yeah. Alexandra, but the problem is, is that it is so disconnected from the reality that we all know that is what is so bizarre here. Are there still people watching some of these programs who don't know? I'm th do you think that's the case? Quickly. Well, look, I think that that's what Donnie Joy is just hoping for. Uh, Representative Omar yeah. famously said reprehensibly that it was all, all right. about the Benjamins. It's all about amnesia for the Democrats on this issue. Well, ladies, thank you so much. Great stuff. I know we are, this is the fast-paced dynamic here, and there's just so much. I appreciate you joining us. Now, Thanks, next.